In this video, I'm going to explain how to get started using your, the Standard 7 spreadsheet I've created to analyze your data. So first, you're going to open up the file that I've made. The first thing I want you to do, step one, save it under a different file name. So click on File, click to Save As, choose a destination. I recommend putting this on your Google Drive file stream somewhere where you can find it again. Maybe you could call it name standard seven and the school year. Okay, now that it's saved, you won't lose the file again and you don't risk overwriting the template file that you've downloaded. Step two is to go down along here if you hit these arrows, you can scroll between the different sheets, the tabs that are available. Scroll until you get to the scores by student tab. You're going to want to delete any tabs that you don't teach that block. So if, for example, I'm teaching U.S. history and I only want to use data from my second, third, and fifth block classes, I would need to delete all of the tabs other than two, three, and five. This will prevent an annoying little pop-up message from showing up. So you're going to want to just right-click on the sheet and then go to delete and say yes. This is why you've saved it as a different name. Okay, so I want second and third. I'm going to delete fourth block. I want to keep fifth. Delete sixth, seventh, and eighth. So you can delete whichever sheets for blocks you're not using. That's step two. Now, once that's done, you can go back to the data sheet. Your next step will to be to delete all of the sample scores out of here that you don't need. So you can just highlight everything and press the delete key on your keyboard, or you can right click and press clear contents. Now notice it will change a bunch of stuff. That's because you don't have scores anymore. You only need to update the stuff that's in red. Any text that's in black will update itself, just leave it alone. Okay, so now you're going to replace this data with the names and blocks of all your students. I have a different video, two different videos on how to import names and test scores from Phoenix. So I'm not gonna explain that again. I'm just going to overwrite the blocks on the dummy data that I already have here, just for illustration. So at this point, this is where you would type in the names and blocks and test scores for all of your students. Okay, so you would need to do this for each class that you're teaching. We're assuming that Susie Sample here is teaching two, three, and five. So we'll just change that. There, now Susie has all her names in there. Uh, let's go ahead and put in some scores. I'm purely making up this num these numbers here. So it could be, this would be whatever your test scores were on your pretest. And please put in the raw numbers here. Um, don't put in any, put it in exactly as you would grade it on the test. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is sort the data. This is really important. I've made my chart so that the blocks are in order, but you don't necessarily put your blocks in in order. So you're going to just click on the A, hold the shift key on your keyboard, and click on the I, highlighting all of the columns in the data. Then you're going to go up here under the editing block, click on sort and filter, and then click on custom sort. I've already set up the sort options how they need to be. You don't have to change anything here, just hit OK. It will sort all them in. See, now they're in alphabetical order and by block. If you don't do this, then your tiers will not work right and the graphs will not work right. So make sure you sort the data. Now, click on the goals and analysis page. Now, what I'd like to do is change my goals. So for this example, Susie Sample here is using percentage growth. If you're using raw score, you would put it in the raw score box, uh, but I'm using percentage growth. So I would type in whatever I want my goals to be. Maybe I want the tier one to grow by 15%. I want my tier two to grow by 55% and I want my tier three to grow by 70%. So I would just type those goals in and then type in whatever the maximum score is on your test. 
you're going to have to change this. This is important. So any, remember, anything in red text needs to be changed by you. So let's go ahead and change my maximum score. Let's say this was a 40 question test. So I'll type that in. And now I should be good to go. Um, we don't have, see these that are saying divide by zero, divide by zero. This is because in this example, we don't have anyone in tier one. Everyone ended up in tiers two or three. Nobody scored higher than a 15 because I just made up those numbers, right? So all of these will change when data gets put in. So when you put in a mid year score, these will change to actual numbers. When you put in a post test, these will change. So just leave all the rest of this alone. When you put the rest of your scores in, at the end of the year, you can come down to this box and see what your rating would have been. Okay, so the last step is to save your file. So click File, click Save, and then you're going to, going to want to upload this to My Learning Plan. Before I go, I want to give you some warnings of things not to do. First thing not to do, if you're in this data sheet, don't delete stuff. Don't delete columns you think you don't need. Don't delete rows you think you don't need. If a student drops your class, let's say Brooks Garth here drops my class, I'm not going to delete him. It will mess with my data. Instead, I'm just going to label him withdrawn or perhaps dropped and maybe the date. Or if I want to change Tony Jarvis's tier from one from two to one, he's been doing really well in class. I might say tier removed due to class performance. And then manually change this tier. Just overwrite. Just type a one in there. Boom. Okay. Second thing not to do. Do not alter any text that's not in red. See this goal met, this percent growth? These are NAs because you don't have a post-test score. It's going to be meaningful later. Don't delete this stuff. Don't delete this percent growth column. If you scroll down and you're at the bottom of your data and you think, I don't need any of these rows anymore, just leave them there. Don't delete them. You might have a student added to your class and you're going to need the formulas to be intact. So don't alter any text not in red. The only exception to this is if you need to manually change a student's tier. Um, finally, do not insert rows for new students. If you have a new student, don't insert it. It will not retain these formulas and it'll be all messed up. Just go to the bottom, put which block they're in, put in their name, put in their score, and then problem solve. That's all for this video. Uh, there are other videos on the channel showing how to import student scores as well as names from Phoenix. And there's also another video just explaining some of the general features of this worksheet.